the will of the Father, not mine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for May the 6th, 2022, according to St. John. I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I judged, and my judgment is righteous, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. If I bear witness to, of myself, my witness is not true. There is another who bears witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. You have sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Yet I do not receive testimony from man, but I say these things that you may be saved. He was the burning and shining lamp, and you were willing for a time to rejoice in his light. But I have a greater witness than John's, for the works which the Father has given me to finish, the very works that I do, bear witness of me, that the Father has sent me. And the Father himself, who sent me, has testified of me. You have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his form. But you do not have his word abiding in you, because whom he sent, him you do not believe. You search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. And these are they which testify of me. But you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. I do not receive honor from men, but I know you, that you do not have the love of God in you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not receive me. If another comes in his own name, him you will receive. How can you believe who receive honor from one another, and do not seek the honor that comes from the only God? Do not think that I shall accuse you to the Father. There is one who accuses you, Moses, in whom you trust. For if you believe Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. Then a great multitude followed him, because they saw the signs which he performed on those who were deceased. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Again, we have beautiful, beautiful testimony of whom is talking to us, God himself. Now, let's imagine and ponder this thing, especially for the Jews that deny the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua, especially for them and everyone else that denies God, our brother, Muslims, and everyone else. The Lord himself has not two witnesses, but five witnesses that he already has told us today. First and foremost, God the Father. He's the first witness, but nobody hears him. Then he has the miracles, the signs that he has performed among us, which come from God, that no one can do. Then we have Holy Scripture, of which part of the Quran is, and of which all of the Torah, the Ketuvim, and everything is for the Jews, and for us, and even for the Evangelicals and Protestants. So we have the Father, the miracles, and Scripture. And then we have Moses, also for the Jews. And then finally, we have John the Baptist. Five witnesses that testify that Christ is the Son of God. Do you believe that? And then finally, the Lord today tells us, I do not seek my will, but that of the Father. And that is paramount for our salvation. That is exactly what he taught us to pray for. Thy will be done, talking to the Father. Thy will be done on earth, on myself, that I be made of earth, on me, in my mind, in my soul, in my body. The will of the Father be done. Which is so graciously said by the Holy Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary before the Archangel Gabriel. Behold the handmaid of God. Let it be done in me as you have said. Let it be done in me. 
that the words of the Father, the will of the Father be accomplished. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.